Men, welcome back. Hey, I'm going to do a uh, little quick video uh, on three steps uh, to kind of finalize assembly of a lower end. Uh, stay tuned. Here's quickie number one. All right, let's put in a kickstart shaft. Hey, when you get your gasket set and open up, there's going to be two flat rubber washers. They look more or less the same. One is a little smaller than the other one. That's the one you need for the kickstart shaft. The other one, the other one won't fit. You'll be able to, you can't get that and that won't work. It's, it's a little bit different, not much different, but it's different enough you can't get the kickstarter. So use, uh, use the one that's a little smaller. Put a little grease on the washer, stick it in the hole, put a little grease on the th thrust plate just to hold it in place. Stick it over the hole. Stick the kickstart shaft in the hole. Remember, the slot for the bolt goes up. When you orient the uh, kickstart gear, you got to orient it so that the stop pin is up against the bottom segment over here. So when you kickstart, it'll come around this way. The bolt hole aligns with the kickstarter arm, and the arm will go up with the bolt on the top. And you guys have all seen the bike where the guy puts this in wrong, and then he's got a uh, <laughs> He's got a hole all cobbled out sideways in there because he forgot to put it in the right spot and then he had to grind the shaft to get it to fit. What a mess. Do it right the first time, it's easier. Alright, my gear is setting to stop. The bolt's pointing up, that's the way it needs to go. Put a new lock washer. I like to bend the ears up a little bit to make it easier to get underneath it when I got the nut tight. All right, so uh, where'd I leave off? I keep getting interrupted. Okay, you get your big nut, put your lock plate on. Make sure your slot and your shaft is correctly oriented. Use the wrench that fits it, for God's sake. Don't use a hammer and a fucking chisel. Okay, when the Kickstarter hits the stop, the Kickstart arm should be straight up. I use the pin in the crankcase as the stop pin for, uh, you know, locking this in place when I tighten the nut. Gluten tight. You should rotate freely when you're done. And as always, with these things that rotate, if it doesn't rotate, figure out what you did wrong and fix it. We're going to put the uh, sprocket shaft seal in. I just try to tap it in evenly.
And that's all there is to that. Okay, we're going to talk about the sprocket shaft seal. Uh, the seal sits inside of this thing. I'll call it a seal carrier. I don't know what the official name is for sure, but we'll call it a seal carrier. And uh, it has this rather thick uh, silicone rubber type gasket on it. And what happens with these things is when you tighten the screws too tight, which most people do, it creates a dimple around the head of the screw. And the dimple around the head of the screw squeezes in and it pushes this steel in. It makes a dimple. And when it pushes the steel in, the steel over here bows out. When the steel over here bows out, it leaks. Uh, you know, most people glom it up with silicone seal and that might seal it up for a little while. Uh, what I do is I make a large steel reinforcement washer for this thing. And uh, when you tighten this thing down up against there, it holds this piece of steel flat. It prevents it from distorting and uh, you get a good seal out of this thing finally. So uh, let's go ahead and put this bitch on. And once again, stainless steel screws, we'll use a little bit of anti-seize on there. The, uh, uh, I'm sure most people looking at this are concerned that it's going to hit the sprocket. There's plenty of room behind the sprocket. It does not hit the sprocket. It clears the sprocket just fine. Uh, actually, on some bikes, some engines I've done, I went so far as to machine a piece of billet aluminum to uh, retain the uh, seal over here. And that works fine, but it's, it's kind of a lot of work for what it is. And it's hard to justify the time or the cost on something like that. And these uh, reinforcement rings, I can knock them out pretty quick. So they're far more easy to justify. And there you have it. Uh, this is never going to leak over here. By far the best fix I've ever seen for these things. And that's it for today. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I am out of here.